The next data visualization we're going to be uh, putting together uh, is going to be a uh, pie chart or a donut chart, which means it has the little uh, hole in the middle. And uh, so we're back at our Flourish home screen. And to get going with that, we're just going to go and click on the new visualization button and wait for that to load up. Do I have to click that twice? Yes, perhaps. So here we go, that's loaded up. And again, we're back at our line bar and pie chart uh, templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this donut chart uh, right here, and that will load up our sample. And you can see that it's a pretty straightforward uh, breakdown. And um, normally for a pie chart or donut chart, we wouldn't want this many slices in it. Uh, because they become a little noisy, a little hard to read. So um, when it comes to pie charts, simpler is usually better. Uh, so let's take a look and see how the data for this is structured. So here we can see that we have one column for our year for uh, our labels, and then we have one column B for our values, right? Um, so, but we uh, have been provided with four columns of data, column one, two, three, and four. Um, if we go back to that preview, we can see that we're just looking at one um, column of data there. So we could uh, go back to the data if we wanted to, and we could add, uh, let's, let's uh, skip the last one and let's do three columns of data. So let's say B through D. Um, and we're gonna hit return. And then if we go to preview, you can see that it hasn't changed. And the reason why that hasn't changed is because we need to shift our grid mode from single chart to a grid of charts. So when we click on that, we should get our three charts uh, popping up there. So that's pretty handy. Um, so now let's connect to our real actual data and uh, see how it goes. So we'll click on that and we'll upload our data and we'll navigate back to our uh, VIC 3002 sample flourish data file and open that up. And then we get our uh, choice of sheets on there and we're gonna go county age breakdown edited. Uh, and then when we have that selected, we'll hit continue. And we wanna import that publicly because we're not paying for a uh, subscription. And we can see that this was uh, successfully imported. And now we can take a look at our data. So we have our age group for labels. That's over here under A. And then we have B, C, and D for information. So uh, let's take a look at the preview. We also have a little mini preview down here in the uh, lower right-hand corner. Let's take a look at our big preview and see how that looks. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, we can see that we have... Uh, our counties labeled. Um, we have our data in there. The data is labeled with the age breakdown. Um, and uh, this is uh, sort of redundant up here. So let's go through some of our settings and uh, see if we can uh, make a little more sense of this. So again, we're going to start off with uh, header and we'll name the chart and we'll say. Um, uh, Southwest of Florida age breakdown. Um, breakdown. There we go. Um, and then for our text, we'll say uh, again, nothing too creative here. Uh, here's a look at how the leading counties in Southwest. Florida uh, compare when it comes to um, age breakdown. All right, and then we hit return. And you can see that that's starting to show up there. And we'll go back uh, down to our footer. We'll add our footer. And we're going to do it the same way we did the other one, just by using the notes. And we're going to go um, uh, source is uh, U.S. Census 
zero. And the secondary note is going to be uh, graphic by Michael Donlin. And we're going to edit that down to 0 0.75, 75. And we're going to add uh, or change the color to that sort of mid value gray. And there we go. So um, let's take a look. Since we have the uh, labels already in here, um, maybe we don't need the um, the key up here or the legend. So let's let's take a look up here and see if we can figure out how to get rid of that or hide it. Um, bah, bah, bah. Here we go, legend. And so it looks pretty straightforward. We could probably just turn the legend off. And that gives us uh, slightly bigger pie charts. And so let's see. That looks pretty straightforward. Um, so why don't we go ahead and save that? Uh, we'll take a look at labels. No, I think, I think this is going to be OK for now. Um, so why don't we go ahead and export and publish this one? So we just hit export and publish, and publish to share and embed, publish. And then here we are. We have our uh, div tag or embed code to put into our blog posts. So again, pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, nothing, I think, that you guys can't handle. So um, next, we're going to do uh, a line chart or a fever chart. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again.